Many folks don't know the story of Premier. Premier Heating and Air was founded in 2001 with just a small group of people. Initially, Premier's handful of people went to work with a core value and set of principles based on a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. With one move in 2005 and then a leap of faith in 2010, Premier is now in its current location and now one of the largest heating and air companies in middle Georgia. Still, every day our people walk through our warehouse doors and into the doors of your home with the same core value. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Call Premier Heating and Air today and get your AC system checkup for just $49. Need a new system? Get up to $2,000 on qualified systems. Log on to Dublin.PremierIsHere.com. The choice is clear. Choose Premier. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. Welcome everybody. I'm glad to have with me today Eric Walden, the campus director here at GMC College. And what a great way, Eric, to start the day on top of the skyscraper basically. Not on the tip top, but we're up here about the fourth floor, I guess. And uh, it's got to be really fun coming to work every day, isn't it? It is. It's a great job uh, working as the campus director of Georgia Military College here in Dublin. is is, is a exciting day every day. Being able to see students who are getting their college degree, working toward their future, having investing in themselves is always the greatest part of it. And seeing that moment when a student may be having a little trouble and then it clicks, yeah. that's, that's the beauty of being an educator and being a, a director of a college. Nothing like when you see the light come on, isn't it? Oh, no. Just, they, they get it. So, uh, so y'all have come a long way. I remember standing outside the day we... Uh, had our grand opening of the skyscraper and GMC, which is a major university, uh, Milledgeville and Warner Robins, different campuses, but it was new to Dublin. And uh, you've seen some uh, great growth, haven't you? Yes, so the campus has grown. Uh, the, this upcoming fall, we are already looking toward having between around 250 students. So that's a, a huge amount of growth. Students who are, who are working toward uh, their associate's degrees in different fields, looking to then move on and either stay with Georgia Military College and get their bachelor's degree or, or end up uh, moving on to another institution and transferring in to get their bachelor's degree elsewhere. So we say start here, go anywhere. Yep, absolutely. And y'all offer things, and it's right here at home. You don't have to drive. You don't have to spend all that money. And a lot of people that graduate from GMC are either debt-free or close to debt-free, you know, because you're not staying in a dorm, you're able to come, and we've got a lot more parking now, y'all, so you shouldn't have trouble parking. And um, so, and you offer things like uh, homeland security and, and criminal justice for people, maybe a police officer that wants to step up and get a better job. So uh, those are things that, uh, that you offer here at home, and, and they got to be popular. They're very popular. Actually, our number one degree in Dublin actually is pre-nursing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a lot of uh, young men and young women who get their pre-nursing degree, and then we, we do very well at, at uh, preparing them to go and, and taking the exams to get into nursing schools. And then they end up being nurses in the local community. We have a program where we actually train uh, our public safety program, which we chain, train uh, law, future law enforcement officers and other public safety officials. Uh, that program actually is housed in Milledgeville, where it's a two-year program. But it actually affects a lot of the, the departments here locally in, in, uh, in Dublin. And so we, we're looking to be a pipeline there. We have uh, a, a lot of our students are getting degrees in history and English and biology, looking to be uh, teachers, uh, come back to Dublin as teachers. Uh, you have a, a great a school system, which uh, has a huge pipeline of, of young men and women who want to be the, the teachers that influence them. And that's a beautiful part of education. Yeah. It's got to be a good time, I'm telling you. So uh, we're going to take a break. We've got a lot more to come. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wynn Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality products at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry, and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Moen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right 
one customer at a time. If you have a question or if you're looking for a hard to find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. We invite y'all to come down to Holy Smokes Barbecue, Dublin's fresh everyday barbecue source. 1100 Hillcrest Parkway, 272 Ribs. You can place your orders online, DublinBBQ.com. We're all about faith, family, and friends. And remember, life's too short to eat bad barbecue. We're so thankful for you, Dublin. You guys have been so good to us, and we just want to invite you guys just to come on and experience what we think good barbecue is. Welcome everybody, we're glad you joined us today. If you're just tuning in, we'll be airing this program again, or you go to our YouTube channel. A lot of you that are watching now are watching on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, and uh, we appreciate you watching no matter how you are watching, but uh, if you are just joining us, I have with me Eric Walton, and uh, he's the campus director here at GMC. And uh, what about non-traditional students? What, what, what do you, how do you cater to them, and how would you encourage someone that's watching that may be 40, 45 years old and uh, at a dead end job or the factory's closing or, or life happens sometime. What do you say to them? If you're a student who is a non-traditional student, Georgia Military College is perfect for you. We have classes at all times of the day to fit your schedule. So if you are currently working, you can come to, if you need an in-class course, you can come any time of the day. We have classes as early as 7.50 in the morning and classes that go all the way that begin at, at 5.15 and 5.10 at night. Uh, where you can take classes throughout the day. We also have our Global Online Leadership College, which uh, is, is a huge help to many students who are non-traditional. That means they can take the, an asynchronous class. That means a course that is, that, is, uh, that is at your own pace. So if you're active military, or if you have children at home, or if you're just a student that has, who's, who just got out of high school, but you're, you, got, you have to work to support yourself, you can take classes through our Global uh, Online Leadership College and that allows you to take a course at your own pace, not have to be on campus directly. But if you're looking for that one-on-one -on -one individual touch like you have in the classroom or you used to, come to the campus. We have classes all day. Online uh, college has really changed the way y'all do business, hasn't it? It has. It actually, online education is a, is a great way for students to, to get what they need and what they desire directly. Uh, it, it allows for students to uh, to know what the course demands. It allows for students to understand that this is at their own pace. It allows for students to, to experience a class without some of the distractions. Sometimes uh, the, uh, your other students can be a little bit distracting to your education. An online, an online education that allows you to have a directed, uh, focused education that benefits you as a student. And just to be clear to people, online does not mean you're just out on an island by yourself. Uh, you still have access to instructors or professors uh, or maybe tutoring or something. Is that correct? Correct. So Georgia Military College, if you are a student with Georgia Military College, you actually have uh, access to all of our, our uh, amenities as a student. So we have our main campus in Millersville, so you're actually able to, to go and be a, a part of, uh, of the educational clubs, the, the sports athletic uh, aspect of college as a, uh, that traditional students possess. You're able to come into the Dublin campus and if you need tutoring for math or English, we can set up tutoring for those, so those courses. So the benefit of having online is not just, okay, well, you're away from everyone, but you also get the college experience if you choose to use that as well. And I've been in classrooms that uh, uh, teachers were teaching here at GMC many times and uh, the smaller class size I think that is an advantage whether you be in high school or college or what but usually uh, uh, your major universities out there wherever in Athens or Atlanta or, or wherever uh, big classrooms and the the professors uh, listen to people that go is a disconnect mm -hmm. but at GMC you you can have that not necessarily one-on-one -on -one, but that you know, that smaller class size. Don't you see that as an advantage? I think smaller classrooms are, are a huge, uh, class sizes are a huge benefit for students. One, you lose the intimidation factor. You're not raising your hand in front of 300 people asking a question, which can be daunting for some students. You have uh, a small class size here at Georgia Military College Dublin is gonna range from a, a, a small size of 10 to a large, 
the, the largest size being 30, and you have a chance to, to have an inter, inter, individual interaction with your professor, you get to know your fellow classmates, you're able to have smaller breakout sessions which, uh, which creates familiarity, and that familiarity helps you be comfortable in the classroom. And y'all have attracted some incredible people, and I'm telling you, you're only as good as your people. I don't care what you run in a McDonald's or, or whatever it is, uh, or, or university. But um, uh, what, do you, what do you say about that? We have an amazing faculty and staff. Uh, they work really hard to making sure that students are prepared. One of our, our, our the biggest joys that I have is seeing students not only being successful at Georgia Military College, but being successful after they leave Georgia Military College. And that is largely uh, uh, due to our faculty and our staff. They, are, they focus on the student, they want to make sure that they're prepared, they want to make sure that when they leave us, that they, wherever they go, they know exactly what they're doing and, are, uh, and have the educational background to, to be more than successful wherever they may be. Now, I mentioned a while ago uh, Milledgeville and Warner Robins, but in middle Georgia, uh, you pretty well got a satellite campus close to anybody, don't you? We do. We have our main campus in Milledgeville, which is usually for our, uh, we have our traditional commuter population, our Corps of Cadets, and we have uh, our, our athletes that go to our Milledgeville campus. We also have campuses in Dublin, Warner Robins. We have campuses in Valdosta, Augusta, Rockdale, uh, uh, Fairburn, and Madison. Uh, we actually have eight satellite campuses plus our main campus. Well, that's a lot further than middle Georgia. You educated me right there, so you learn, you learn something new every day, don't you? So, uh, but it's so, to me, it would be so cool to come to school here. Uh, and anybody that knows where the skyscraper is, just to come to class here every day. Uh, it's a beautiful building. Uh, I, this building sit here, Eric, for many, many years. I thought it ought to be torn down at some point. It was just an eyesore. And lo and behold, they didn't come in and make this place a, a show place. So isn't it great to come to work here every day? It is. The skyscraper is 112 years old this year. Uh, it is a beautiful building. It was uh, restored. And, and we, are, we are glad and lucky to be here uh, to be able to offer education here. Uh, Georgia Military College operates the first four floors, the, the ground floor through the fourth floor. And we have classes on every floor and get a, a, to, to partake in the beautiful scene and being able to look out the window and see it look over beautiful Dublin every day. Yes. And that's one of the things, that some of the ambiance about this campus that our students get to take in as well. You can't get that everywhere. No, you can't. There's, there's no way. Okay, uh, how has Common Core changed the way that um, we educate our, our young people? And also start with, because a lot of people may say, what's Common Core? So tell people what Common Core is and then go to the first part of the question. So your core curriculum is the, the curriculum that every student takes. It's it, uh, your English classes, your math classes, your science courses, and some social sciences. And that such as you know, which are required your uh, American history and your American government. Uh, these courses give everyone a common foundation and are beneficial because we all have a common experience in our educational uh, journey. However, once you get past your common core, you have your concentration where you decide to get into the areas that you are, are fully interested in and you want to be uh, when you go out into the world where you hope that you will, you will uh, be a professional one day. And so the Common Core is important again because, it, it, again, that, that common foundation that we all have, that basis that we all have, that those soft skills that we build through interacting in, in our communications, our, our composition courses, which is our English 101 and English 102, the ability to, to have that foundation in writing, the, the ability to have taking a communications course, the ability to be able to, to communicate with one another, to be able to, to put together uh, the, the, our basis for mathematics, all of these things are good and, and beneficial to students and all uh, are the basis for what classes that they're going to move into no matter what field you go in in the future. Wow, I wish they'd had that 46 years ago when I graduated. So, uh, uh, and, and the good thing about it, it's free to the student. Uh, the state pays for it. So you can come here, get a two year, get all your core classes and then pick up and uh, and you start paying or however you want to do it, y'all help with financial aid and different things. So and there's a lot of money out there, isn't there to help students. There is a lot of money. There are students who, uh, there are several different types of students that come to us. 
We have our traditional college student, which uh, many qualify for Hope and Pell and can have a free education when they graduate from Georgia Military College or have little to no debt when they leave Georgia Military College. If they qualify for loans, they may have a little bit uh, that they have to pay back. But for most students, there's not much that, uh, in edu uh, that they have to pay back after they leave Georgia Military College. Man, that's great, isn't it? I mean, can you imagine graduating with a degree, a bachelor's degree and whatever, and you don't owe hardly any money? It is beautiful. One of the benefits, we are a commuter school, so some of the fees that you would have elsewhere, such as room and board or a, uh, a meal plan, does not exist at Georgia Military College. And so you're only paying for your education. And so that is a benefit to many of our students because they're staying in the same context that they've always been in. They're still living at home. They still pay the normal bills that they normal pay, normally pay, but they don't have anything extra to, to worry about and have to pay for to get their education. I hope you listen to that, y'all. I'm telling you, you need to go ahead. The number's been on the screen the whole time we're talking. Uh, may uh, went up and down a few times, but uh, call the number. Come by, and uh, you'll be glad to take people on a tour, talk with them, explain things, bring your parents with you. Uh, you're very transparent, aren't you, Eric? Yes, yeah, so come down, talk to our enrollment coach, Ms. Sue Harrison, or come in and talk to our graduation coach, Ms. Emily Kane, or come talk to myself. Again, I'm Eric Walton, the, the director of Georgia Military College Dublin. We would, we would love to show you a tour. We usually start, uh, most people want to start at the top and work their way to the bottom <laughs> rather than walk up the four flights of stairs, but we would love to show you a tour of anything that you want to see here at the Skyscraper. If you want to uh, come in during the summer and maybe we see a class that's going in the session or even sit in on a class for a, a little bit of time, uh, we can even set that up. Talk to a professor. All of these things are available to you. Yep. It's hard to get that most places, I'm telling you. And they have a vested interest in you here. So y'all stay with us. We're going to come back and wrap things up. The weather's heating up here in middle Georgia, and the deals are hot at Dublin Nissan. So when you come in, look for the red tag specials like this Nissan Altima or the new restyled 2024 Frontier. So come into Dublin Nissan during our red tag sale and take advantage of 0% financing or up to $10,000 savings off of MSRP. At Dublin Nissan, get rates as low as 0% for 36 months on the Pathfinder. And remember, Don sells Nissan's well only at Dublin Nissan. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Welcome back everybody, we're gonna wrap things up now. Now we have not talked about the core cadets and the ROTC program, tell us about that. So Georgia Military College's origin comes out of the Corps of Cadets. Um, that is actually a, uh, a, a part of Georgia Military College that only exists at our Milledgeville campus. We have four areas in which students can um, go into the, the uh, go into a, a military service through Georgia Military College. We are actually at, through uh, the GMC's ROTC, one of four junior colleges that offers a, a program where you could be a second lieutenant in the military once you graduate after two years uh, as, in our Corps of Cadets. We also actually have our our servant our academy uh, prep uh, program as well. Uh, there are students who are looking to go to our service academies, our West Point, our, uh, our Naval Academy in Annapolis, our, our Merchant Marines Academy, our Air Force Academy. They actually can come to Georgia Military College for their first year uh, and then uh, transfer into our service academies as sophomores and they've done all their requirements as a uh, in their first year and they are online to be uh, the, in, with everything educationally, uh, militarily, to graduate from one of our service academies uh, here in the United States. We also have our civic leader program which are individuals who just want to uh, engage in the military program uh, but they do not go into the service afterwards and we also have individuals who are part of our state service program who work along with the Georgia National Guard and the uh, Georgia Air Guard who will uh, work be in the Georgia National Guard and Georgia Air Guard once they graduate as well. So we have many options. Dublin, as Dublin students and Dublin citizens have taken a huge uh, part of that and, uh, and actually participated in all four of those areas. Uh, and the big thing that comes into play that is connected to all of Georgia Military College is our, our component of leadership. Even if you're not a service, uh, uh, going into the service, leadership is a big part of what we do. 
leadership it comes into play in our everyday work with my students here in Dublin, uh, it is a, especially uh, present in our students who are going into our service. But it's one thing that we make sure that we, we spread across uh, as a, an institution that we are leaders in our community shaping our community. Yeah, and we can't end without talking about the leader at GMC. You're talking about uh, setting an example. Yes, sir. Uh, tell everybody if they're not familiar with the, 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 what I say, the top dog at GMC College. President William Caldwell IV is our, is our uh, president of Georgia Military College. He's a great leader. He's a retired three-star general. Uh, he has set a, a new path for Georgia Military College, which will, will shape middle Georgia and our nation for the rest of for a, a long period of time creating leaders in our communities, creating individuals who are going to be uh, future doctors, future nurses, future lawyers, future uh, you know, service members, future uh, educators. He is setting a platform where people understand that we need uh, a specific type of leadership that aids us in, uh, to, to be a better community going forward. Uh, and so that's a huge part of what he does, a huge part of his interaction with the community. Anytime he comes down to Dublin, he talks to the leadership of Dublin, making sure that they know that we, what we are doing and how we are uh, shaping the community and, uh, and our beneficial way of doing so. He's a great author also. Uh, he's written his own book. Um, just, uh, you just can't say it enough, you, and you said it a few times, but he is a great leader. Uh, and you know as, good, as well as anybody, you set that example at the top and you let people see how you live and how you work and how you succeed. So uh, I gotta ask you before we close, what is the most fun about the job that you do? Uh, I will say it every day that I come in here, being able to see a student succeed, being able to shake their hand as they walk across the stage for graduation, being able to see just the joy that they have in accomplishing something, because many of our students did not know that they would be able to complete this program and complete this process. And being able to see them complete it, find something in themselves, find change themselves for the better, all of those things are the best part of what I do as the director of Georgia Military College. Yeah, we've had a lot of people succeed here and go on and make really good money. And I've learned quite a bit. I hope you have too. If you want to hear this again, uh, go to our YouTube channel or stay tuned. We'll be airing it again. But uh, some of these, uh, like going on to the Air Force Academy or some of these uh, West Point, I never knew that. And, you, and when you do that and come to GMC first, you've got a leg up, don't you? You do. Most of our students who transfer anywhere, it could be a service academy or elsewhere, usually are ahead of their, their cohorts once they, when they go to their new institution. They usually have head in credits. They usually have a better foundation. They usually know what college demands of them before they ever get there. And it's a huge benefit to Dublin and all the cities here in the state of Georgia. Amen. Amen. So uh, well, we're going to uh, wrap things up, but we've had the number on the screen. You just called, and uh, Eric mentioned earlier that um, come in, take a tour, talk to professors. We're an open book here. So just bring your parents, your grandparents, whoever you want to bring, and uh, go ahead and get your education here at GMC College. Great great view out the window. We moved up today because all the construction out there <laughs> with the jackhammers going and uh, you don't hear them now, but we heard them on the second floor, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, and that's the thing about GMC, uh, any successful business, you got to adapt. Uh, and that's what you do here. So I recommend it highly. I'm telling you, go online and check us out. Uh, see all the many degrees. There's way too many for me and you to talk about. But the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit at the skyscraper, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, Eric, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today.